Welcome back to beautiful Columbia, Missouri and Harmony Benz for the final round of the Mid-America Open presented by Discraft. I am Ian Anderson. Sitting next to me is your Pro Tour champion, Nathan Queen. Alden Harris has earned himself a one-stroke lead over his prodigy teammate in Gannon Burr. Anthony Barella, Chris Clemens, they are charging from the chase card. A great nine holes in store for us, Nathan. Absolutely. We've had lots of changes on the scoring during this front nine. Alden Harris getting tied up a couple times, but now has that one-stroke lead. Evan Smith and Connor O'Reilly kind of dropping back a bit and need some birdies on this back nine to maintain that top five finish. And there you can see your scores, Harris and Burr. But as I mentioned, Barella and Clemens, very close. Kiefer and Klein also making charges up the board along with Drew Gibson. Run out of the holes, though. We'll see what happens. Hole 10, what? What a tee shot. Just a beautiful par five, 996, 996 feet here. You've got a straight gap you can throw down or high left side flex or forehand. Forehand's gonna be the placement play. Uh, roller second shot, you've got a really low ceiling, so if you can get that roller down, that's gonna be the best way to get distance on this second shot. And uh, really the second shot's the main play here if you can land in the fairway off of the tee. You've got a little bit of sand up here by the green. So if you're coming in from a distance, you're going to need to fly it a little bit farther than the rest of the course. Harris took the straight gap yesterday. Has that lined up again today? Ooh. Oh. That was a nice kick. Yeah, gets out there to a pretty good spot, almost in the shade too. Cool him down a little bit. <laughs> there you go. It's a nice spot to throw a roller from as well, off to the right. Gannon with the forehand action. Did not expect this. Thoughts? Ooh. Oh, no. Where did that go? It looks to be short behind that tent, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure why he decided to go for him there. I do... I, I don't think it's as good of a line as it is for the backhand. And uh, Connor going with that sky roller up on the left side, though. Love gonna it. Going to, again, put him in a good position. Yeah, I think if you're going to go forehand, it needs to be that high left. Mm-hmm. Although, me throwing lefty backhand, I would also choose to go straight. We throw that flex shot. Yeah, it's just yeah. a little bit more. It's a little more difficult. <gasps> but with Cannon's backhand, I'm surprised to not see him take this one of these big lines up here. Like Smith. Oh my goodness, spinning Pavo. Kid throws far. Wow. Did not quite fade back oh. enough though. In the tree as well. Could get a favorable lie, but yeah. we'll see what yeah, happens. We'll, we'll see where he is. Yeah, when you're up in a tree like that, you just place your mini directly below it. That's how you play it. Unless there is a two-stroke, two-meter two meter rule called, which does not happen very often. There's no penalty. Yep. There was Burr pitching out of the woods, playing a little army golf to the other, other side of the fairway. Harris throwing his second. Lays down the roller. And a little bit inside. Is this going to flip over? It does eventually stand up late, though. That is a very flippy Frisbee. F7. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. With Prodigy, the higher number, the flippier the disc. Prodigy, or Prodigy teammate over here again in Burr throwing three. Ooh. Tough little spot he got himself into. Yeah, really uh, difficult to get down that low. This is not a par hole when you're Gannon Burr. He is no. really disappointed with this effort. Connor. Great drive. Uh, don't think he did it, though. Oh, it does get down. Yeah, this is that really flippy disc that he threw off of the tee as well. The hatchet, I believe. Man. Getting these things to stand up that late. This grass is tall and slows these mm -hmm. discs down a lot as well. That should be a pretty easy birdie there from there, though, for Connor. Uh, would that be his first of the, of the day? It could be. It, so. would be so. it would be his first birdie of the day. Yeah. Evan's drive got all the way here. Yeah, <laughs> Huge tee shot. And got a pretty decent lie oh. coming out of that tree also. Go. Go. And... Evan looking to get up and down for another birdie now. No pars for him, but does have a couple birdies. Yeah. Burr. Oh, boy. 
That was his fourth. Is he going to bogey this one? That's going to be big. Yeah, this is not what you expect to see coming down this hole. No. There's a lot of trees, but it shouldn't really be that big of a, yeah, a problem. Yeah, shouldn't give you this much trouble. And he's Ooh. still going to be out of position there. Putting for bogey, isn't he? I believe so. Ooh, this is going to be a big swing with Harris. Yeah, the rest of these guys looking to get up and down for birdie from inside 200. Yeah, it should be pretty casual. Connor, you can count that one. O'Reilly getting on the board on 10 finally. Harris, just 172 and nothing in the way. Look at this. Yeah, going to be able to give this a soft run if he wants to, but does not. Just going to lay it up nicely for a birdie. He will be picking up strokes on Burr. And Evan has a very long standstill putt. He is going to be giving this a run. Pulls it off right a little bit. Dropping birdie his consolation prize. Gannon. I believe to save six. Oh, and what a disappointing hole in the middle of his round. Was having a great one, you know? Yeah, four down through the front nine. Gonna end up with a double bogey there to bring mm -hmm. him back to two down while the rest of the card takes a birdie. It's a three-stroke swing for him there. Ooh. Really gonna need to collect himself and get the birdie on this next hole. I love that slow-mo shot keep right his there. Round back Harris in order. dropping in the birdie. Got Ver walking off with a double. Ooh. And shout out to uh, Jake Hebenheimer for getting an e the only eagle on that hole to put him nine down through ten on the round today. Your dad putted that thing in? I'm sure he did. <laughs> uh, another great par four here. One of the flatter holes on the course, 703 feet. You want to get a right-handed backhand hyzer to skip off to the left side to have the straightest look at the basket. If you don't get that skip, there is still a fairway on the right side, just a little bit more. You have to shape your disc a little bit more. Mm -hmm. True. <clears throat> Harris has the box, and all of a sudden, a four-stroke lead on the card. What a swing. This has come out a bit straight. If it misses everything, it missed everything. He's going to be just fine. Hmm. All right. Connor. Coming off his first bird of the day, looking to make it two. That tee shot shit. 70 mile an hour backhand, Connor. Wow. And that thing stood up straight also, but did not quite miss everything like Alden did. Mm -hmm. May still have some type of flex line or a forehand from over there. Yeah. Smith. A little early, Nathan? Oh, it looked to be good if it was going to miss that tree. Needed to get just inside or just mm -hmm. around it and was going to be in a good position. But he'll be back a little bit too far back now. We'll see how Gannon bounces back off of that hockey stick on the last. And goes with this inside flex line. <clears throat> I did notice this when I was walking around the course, but didn't really think we were going to see it. Huh. He absolutely smashes that disc up there and gets into a great spot. Incredible bounce back drive after that last hole. Reminds me of that great drive he had on nine. Similar shape. Just that flex up the middle. Really pretty. Smith, his second. Yep. Yeah, a lot of distance left here. Probably 400 plus. Just looking to play for position, he's going to be 120 feet or so. That might be his first par. It could be. It could, it could happen here. He gets up and down. Yeah. We'll, we'll see some gray. Oh, roller coming from O'Reilly. That's that hatchet again, I believe. This is a scary play. There is that OB right and long. Needs great distance control on this. Did he do it? Yeah, he did. Dang, that was awesome. What a shot. Well done, Connor. Touch backhand roller. Yeah. Accurate words. Harris. Go to the roller as well. This is also a very nice. Oh, a little early for Harris. Well, hold on. These guys are brave, man. Oh, that's Ooh. a great tree. Out of bounds. But still not quite enough. Ooh. Harmony Benz is getting spicy, Nathan. And 
because Burr's looking at a birdie here. Yes, he is. Got it up a bit high and tested that OB, but slowed, uh, yeah. slowed down enough. I was a little worried. We might see a two-stroke swing the other way after we've just watched a three-stroke swing. There he goes. We're looking at a par. It's, it's going to happen. Harris, speaking of par, is this to save one of those? Needs this to most likely only lose one stroke. Just gain three, so not a huge deal, but does does swing that momentum back a little bit. And, and he needs every one of these because Brella and Clemens charging on that chase card. O'Reilly. A look at Birdie after that great roller. He's putting with his signature series Faith. Those comes out they came out on Thursday, he's telling me if you want to pick up one of those and support that man. I'm sure you can stay tuned to his social media. All right, and just needed to get on the back nine to get some green on the card. Goes back to back. You love to see it. Yeah, absolutely. Getting back on track. Burr to make up two strokes. After losing three the previous. Well done. Yeah, very nice bounce back there. Harris, a comeback bogey from just outside Bullseye. His first uh, stumble of the day? Uh, second. Second. I ended up taking that bogey on hole five, I believe. Ah, thank you. So already more bogeys this round than the rest of the tournament. Whoa. Smith with his par. 70 mile an hour smash right there from Connor O'Reilly. That's that's big boy arm. Yeah, absolutely. Coming out hot. Mm -hmm. Mine doesn't go that fast. <laughs> Hold 12. I wish mine did. <laughs> Fun. Yeah, 364 foot par 3. 10 foot wide, 150 foot gap. Once you make it out of that, you should be going straight enough to not hit anything else. But it's possible to hyzer out a little early. Or maybe turn it over and get a little bit of a cut roll. Uh, but straight fairway driver, distance driver, um, could play. The grass is pretty grabby here, especially if you land flat. A false mound before. I think you said it was right around 50 feet short, something like that. Yeah, the front of it's probably 50 if you land on top, 40. O'Reilly chasing turkey after that rough start. Turn, turn, turn. Yes. Off yes, to the left, but turning very nicely. There's that 40 range. <laughs> he got it perfectly. And I just saw Brendan back there, our radar and Bushnell crew. who was out there doing work all day. Just want to give a huge thanks to him. Burr on the box. Yes. Get in. Oh, this looks great. Catches a little branch there. But still, ooh, really nice. Skips up there inside the circle. Should have a clean look for his birdie, putting some pressure on Alden. Agreed. Smith. Mm. Nice looking swing. Will it flip? Not a lot of flip, but very little drift. Yeah. Stays inside the circle or right around the edge of it. We'll see how Harris bounces back from that bogey on the last. Oh, he doesn't bounce back, Nathan. Does, does not. And fortunate to get that drop down. That could have easily kicked into the left and immediately been another bogey. Yeah, we've seen those woods over there. Oh, my goodness, are they thick. Harris pitching into the green with his second. That's nice approach there. Should be able to clean up his par pretty easily. But going to most likely be back to that one stroke. That's right. After gaining three on one hole, gives them all back. Over the next two, huh? How about that? Harmony Benz creating that stroke separation. You'll love to see it. Smith, a birdie look after O'Reilly misses his. Yeah. Oh, God. And he's been putting well this round. He's missed one. It was circle two, though, a little I think. Short one. Well, he missed one little short one on he? hole three after oh, okay. he ran that long. I say a little short. It was quite I, uphill and I, probably 25 feet. I, I think so. it, yeah, it might have, might have even been close to Circle's Edge. We'll give it to him anyway. 
get a bird. We don't need to give him anything because no. he just made that birdie. He's going to go ahead and take it. He needs one more birdie to get the full bounce back. Oh, no, wait a minute. That was par five. Mm-hmm. He has fully bounced back from that seven he took on hole 10. <laughs> you got it. Harris to maintain a one-stroke lead and save par. Alden, fantastic on the green, even in pressure situations. Connor cleaning up a par. Left it just a bit short for his turkey bid. Smith, pin high left. And yeah, for for being over par, we're seeing lots of highlights here from yeah. Evan. There is no wobble on that spin no, at all. That's a clean putt. So clean and has all kinds of distance on it. See Chris Clemens now making that push. Ooh, AB fell off. I think he picked up a couple bogeys in that little stretch right there. Uh, heading into 13, Nathan. A 657 foot par four, throwing over OB to start, but not really too difficult to clear. Really comes into play if you get your drive too high on a right-handed backhand turnover, it could fade out that way. Ideally, if you can get far enough to land at least here, maybe a little off to the left, that's gonna leave you about 320 feet or so into this very tight green that still has OB on the left and pushes behind it. That tree, that sideways tree you saw in the fairway really gets, really comes into play on that upshot. It makes you throw a little higher than you want to and really makes that angle more difficult to hit. Burr, checking the wind. We've seen some long rollers here get laid down oh, yeah. 300 feet down the mm -hmm. fairway. That's a good play. A big air shot. Heiser flip from burst 68 miles an hour. Did not like it. Oh, wonder what this was. If he was going roller and missed or if he was going Annie and missed. I think he just got too much turnover on that. Was okay. looking for a big flex shot. I can see that. Usually if you miss a roller, you're going to get a little bit of cut roll out. Mm -hmm. That one did land flat. Smith. Also going with that big flex shot. I wonder if the wind it wasn't picking up here a little bit. It could be. You're, you are more out in the open than you've mm -hmm. been. Yeah, you can see the branches moving around. Connor with that hatchet should see the roller. Yes, there it is. Definitely correcting from the other two and throwing it out way wide. Yeah, you're right, huh? A little, maybe a little wind sock. Yeah, I think you want to land a little farther left than that, though. He's going to be kind of pinched off on that angle. Yeah, not particularly close either. Harris, this looks like a roller as well. Getting it Dang. way wide. Oh, is this going to flip? Needs it to. Or maybe just fall over. Oh, oh my goodness. Hits some long grass just enough. Wow. To slow him down three feet away from the OB. And being over on that left side is very helpful in being able to hit this angle. Although I don't think he got as much distance as he wanted there. It's going to be far. It might be kind of a straight shot in, though. Smith, nothing straight about his shot around the corner for a second. And finding one of those guardian trees on the corner. Harris, 294. So reachable if he can find a line. I'm not sure he is that close. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, up there. tries to go underneath that tree. Kind of a strange play. Yeah. And it didn't pan out well for him. Threw it a bit too low. But he is going to have a circle two look. Connor trying to cut the corner, but can't do it clean, unfortunately. It's been a but a slow day for. Mr. O'Reilly, unfortunate. Gannon with the forehand cut roller. Whoa. Man. What the? Did that hit something? Or just yeah, it's, those be are, a cut roller? Yeah, that's, that's just being a cut roller. Those are difficult <laughs> to get the touch on. You don't want to push it too fast because it'll stand up and go straight into that OB across from yeah. him. So. so now it's third. Fortunate to have a little line here. Ooh, that was that was bad. It was. I thought he was going to go low with something fast. Yeah, Looks like he went exactly. high with something slow, though. Uh huh. Smith pitching over with his third. That should work for four. 
O'Reilly also his third. Nice harp shot there. Every time he throws that, I feel like it's going too fast, and then it just stops. I had the same thought. Maybe it's a slammer. It, it, yeah, he's throwing the slammer. Like it, slammer. It actually is yeah. a slammer, yeah. He, he bags the harp as well, though. Burr, nothing. Looking great about that bid. Going to be a bogey. Dang. That's a big unforced error there from Burr. A chance for another two-stroke swing here, as this, this is Alden's birdie look. This course is bringing us all over the place. And why not? Alden Harris, you baller. Cans it. That was huge, Nathan. Huge make from Harris. Look at these stroke swings we've seen on these. Man. First four in the back nine. Wild. Incredible putt there from circle two. Going to give him... A three-stroke lead on the card again. And a big momentum swing again. Bogey for Burr after he just got one back on the last. And Evan Smith able to collect just his second par of the round now. <laughs> Look at this make from Alden and the stepper from well out in circle two. Look at that focus. What a baller. Oh, it just drops right in there. Nice little disc clap. Gotta love it. Quick commercial. We'll be right back. you want to be the best you win world it doesn't happen to a lot of people and when it does it's it's huge we are looking at hole 14 and they might be the only card left on the course nathan yeah after they finish this hole i believe everybody else is done and Chris Clemens has put in that hot round. He's just scoreboard watching at this point. Yeah, tied for the lead in the clubhouse maybe, or even has the lead. But here we are, 311 foot par three, little six foot wide gap to hit with a forehand off of the tee, or you can go backhand roller out wide. Uh, the forehand play, if you get too high, you'll hit some branches, but if you don't get it high enough, you're gonna grab this grass and not skip at all. Yeah, well put. Harris, no slouch in the roller department, should see one. A little early. Not bad, though. Yeah, just outside the circle, going to have to deal with that four tree right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Smith going to the forehand. So smooth. See how smooth that was? It was really nice. And... Just gets far enough to catch a little bit of shorter grass. Get that skip up there inside the circle. Very nice shot. Connor. Looks good if it stays clean high. It does not. He will have a long look for two from there. Burr also goes to the forehand. Did he hit the tree, Nathan? I don't think so. Okay, maybe I just illusioned that. What a great shot, though. Yeah, incredible shot. Gets the forehand that exact right height he needs. Connor from 70. Hmm. Tries to give it a bid, but had those branches in the way kept him from getting that height it looks like Alden's gonna put over top of this it got lined up very nicely nice and he takes advantage again yeah this man is on fire on the putting green he's a gamer I don't think we've seen him miss one this round Smith with a birdie look that is in 
on a much better pace on this back nine. How about that? Three birdies, getting him to two over for the round after a pretty rough start, kind of settling in now. Mm -hmm. This is probably one of his first times on some camera, and uh, especially on live coverage, too. Yeah. Connor coming back for par, saves that after the rest of the cards snagged a birdie. Harris over the limb. Perfect putt. Same focus as the last hole. Slightly different celebration, though. Got the fist pump instead of the <laughs> disc slap. Uh, brings us into hole 15, a 574-foot par 4 that jumps up 45 or 50 feet right at the end. Possible to get all the way to this gap. That V tree you see is about 415 feet off of the tee, but you do have a low ceiling to get through there. If you can get to about this point, you're going to have 150 feet or so up to this basket. You like to be on the left side so you don't bring these trees right here by that circle one marker into play. Mm -hmm. And just even after you climb these steps, you've still got another 10, 15 feet of elevation climb. Harris has the box and a three-stroke lead over Burr. Gets a nice drive out there. Could have done without the tree kick. Yeah. Uh, but still out in the open, going to have a chance to get up and down for a birdie. Yep. Okay, not great. Smith. Is better. Still not far enough to be great into that tree line. Yeah, that's over. Going to be looking down that right side. Have to throw pretty nose up, I think. Burr with the forehand. Interesting. Yeah, this line plays well, in my opinion. Uh, gives you that distance. You can really get a good skip. Yeah. It gets it's... a little bit farther than Evan, but... Attackable. Connor. This is going. Best of the bunch. Yep, slides right over top of Gannon's. They're all going to be looking down that right side of the fairway, but maybe far enough. Those trees, well, yeah, he's going to have a tough time getting to the left yeah. from this angle. See how he gets. Oh, wow. The highs are into the green? There's no way he meant to do that. <laughs> Nonetheless, he is inside the circle. <laughs> Going to have a birdie look for a turkey. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Smith into the green. And there you go. That's the intended line. Perfect. Beautiful shot up the gap there. Going to get himself... Back-to-back -back birdies for the first time in the round, I believe. Burr, down three, running out of holes. Needs a birdie to keep pace. Harris very close. And I believe at this point, Harris is actually tied with Chris Clemens. Yeah, Chris Clemens in the clubhouse at 24. Okay. 24 under. Well, yep. beside hole 18 at 24 under, I guess we don't have a clubhouse. Oh yeah, <laughs> he was actually wa he was watching Disc Golf Network actually, while he was hanging out. Love that. And nicely pitched in the, into the green by O'Reilly, and here is Harris for the lead. That birdie puts him one ahead of Clemens, four ahead of Burr for the time, but Burr has a birdie putt. We'll close that gap back to three. Casual make. O'Reilly and Smith the same. Looking like a little star action here on a, on 15. Yeah, that's what you want to see out of the top card. Decent amount of birdies on this one. 31% of the field. Uh, this hole averaging at a 3.92, so just slightly under par. And it looks like our lead card may be the reason why. <laughs> there you go. Good. They got it, got it there. Harris sneaking it around the tree. Didn't realize how close that was. 
close enough to be dead sinner. Yeah. Well spun. Your scores. So, at this point in time, <laughs> Clemens was actually done. He is actually done at 24. At 24, the despite the U disc scoring. They were, they were a little ahead of the course. <laughs> a, lot, a lot ahead of the course. <laughs> 16. Walk us through it, Nathan. Yeah, this is the second easiest hole on the course for the third day in a row. 2.56, pretty much a half stroke under par. You've got flex shot down the right side with the righty backhand or flex shot down the right side with the, with the righty forehand. Okay. I may have said that backwards. Either way, it's a flex shot. Yeah, it, it is. Pretty easy. Yeah. Right there. You get, at this point, you, it's a got to get. It was a it was a got to get before they started the round, and now it really is. Harris and Burr coming down the stretch. Yeah, if, if Alden can get this birdie, it really eases the pressure on these last two holes going two strokes ahead. Mm -hmm. That wasn't a great drive, though. Not great, but no. good enough to have a birdie look. Yeah. Smith next. Having a great back nine, four down through the first six. I'm going with that forehand flex down the right side. This looks to be an ace run. Oh, Ooh, my. Just over top and gets a friendly tree. Agreed. Really nice. Keeping him in the circle for a birdie look. And yeah. that flew right over top. That was very close. Burr. I wonder if he even tries to scare this for ace. I mean, I had a chance. That's definitely so. <laughs> Giving it that skip angle, trying to get it to jump up in there, but still controls the distance nicely. Connor next. Also having a really nice back nine. Ooh, bit too much turn on this one, but oh. stays clean. Unfortunately, a bit too clean. Yeah. He jumps outside the circle long, but may have a line through there for a nice circle two putt. Yeah, I think so. Oh, here it is. Yeah. 46 footer on the comeback. Always oh, got a nice little butterfly, friend. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, but needed it to be a little birdie, friend. That he did. Harris next. Oh, a little closer than I thought. Pacer two inside circle one. And closing out strong, looking to get a fourth birdie in a row now. Yeah, dude. Just so solid on the green. Does not want to let this win go. No. Nah. He tasted it once earlier this year. He likes winning on tour. Pretty good feeling, Nathan? Absolutely. And Evan Smith. Look at this back nine from Definitely this guy. Definitely cleaning up that back nine. I was honestly expecting him to play well today. Uh, yeah. It's unfortunate he had those struggles on the front, but yeah. great showing here. Excited to see him out here and playing well on tour. Connor with a good par comeback. And Burr to keep pace with Smith. Yeah, trying to keep a little bit of pressure on him. Yep. Yeah, look at these. Harris is, you mentioned that, Burr in the last four. I think this is his fourth slow-mo in, in a row as <laughs> is well. It really? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> he's earning them. Yeah, he's putting solid on the green. All of them are hitting dead center. Made a huge one on 13. Brings us into hole 17, 526 foot par four. Finally averaging under par today. I'm surprised it hasn't before that, but just plays pretty scrambly and you've got a really tight gap to hit off of the tee. If you can get to this point, you're gonna have a decent chance to get up and down, but truly you'd like to make it this far down the fairway so you can just have a nice little pitch up. If you go to the left side, it's really open early on on this second part of the fairway and you just have to deal with these late trees that we're passing now quick shout out to the forehand simon big germ got all the way down there for a 33 foot putt for eagle round two it? yeah nice crazy love that 
Harris, oh no. Very early tree, Nathan. Yeah, and that's gonna that could possibly bring Bogey into play. That left side's pretty thick. Mm -hmm. Might have opened the door here. Two to play. Up three over Burr. He's got two over Clemens. Smith on the box. Oh, and just slightly right side gets a brutal kick off to the left that traveled a long way. Did left. it really? Oh no! It is not where you want to be. Burr sees an opportunity here. It's three strokes behind with two to play, but Alden off the fairway. Very short off of the fairway. Down, 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 this down. is clean. Go. And that's what that's all you really need on this hole. Once he's made it out of that first gap, he's gonna have an opportunity. Even got a little bit of extra there yeah. in good position to gain possibly two strokes here. Connor. Connor's in a little battle yeah, with Smith, it turns out. Get all the way. That has developed late. That's a and little overturned, was it? It just slightly could have possibly come back though. Mm. So Harris off fairway and short left, his second now. Forehand roller. I think this looks to be a flex shot, but could have been roller as well. Either way, it didn't go far enough for us to find out. No. Uh oh. Smith, his second. Kick to, oh, I thought an okay spot for a second. Yeah, it looked like he had a pretty good line. But just catches that smallest little tree you can see in the mm -hmm. fairway there. Going to be scrambling to get up and down for a par now. And along. Harris is at one of the other tee pads now for his third. Oh, he is not going to par this one, Nathan. He is not. That's bogey at best now. And I don't think guaranteed for where that rolled. No, he's off in the rough. Going to have some work to do to get up and down for a par. And this is a quick green as well. If oh. he doesn't have that distance right, he could float long. Noted. Smith into that green with his third. Uh, almost, anyway. Also looking to be going towards that mm -hmm. bogey. Yep. Connor, 238 into the green. Let's see if he can find the right shape. He's short and left of the corner, Nathan. Is that where he is? I don't, it looked like he was going right. He could have got a kick all the way off to the left side. Yeah, it must have. And that... Maybe it cut rolled over there? Didn't look to have traveled very far, though. And his, fa yeah, his not, face tells you it didn't go very far. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't. Now his third. Yeah, you said it the other day. Just throw a drive and start scrambling on this one. Yeah, and that's a fancy scramble right there. A soft little <laughs> understable putter forehand touch shot. Very nice to get up and down for par there. Burr from 171. This is big, Nathan. You could close the gap to one with yeah. one to play. A pretty easy pitch up here. Ooh, ooh, that was a good break check right there. Yeah, that's not as close as you want to be, but Gannon is a great putter, still has an opportunity to get that birdie. Alden needs this up and down to save a bogey. Looks like he does have a pretty clean line. He can't run this, can he? I would ah. not advise it. And he doesn't either. Yeah, that, that drop off is gnarly. Yeah, beyond. super quick drop off yeah. back there. Wanted no part of that. Smartly done. We'll salvage the bogey Smith to save par. So in a different position, I believe Evan is going to run this. Yep. And gives it angle. a pretty good bid. Mm -hmm. Well, just the scoring position is kind of oh. what I was talking oh. about. Also that. Doesn't need, you uh -huh. know, he's kind of in, going to cash, but. <laughs> not going to win. Yeah, territory. not going to win. Burr. Burr. The iceberg burr. Keeping the pressure on. Going to only be one stroke back going into the final hole out here at Harmony Bends. How about these swings down the stretch? This is awesome, man. Love it. Harris not loving it <laughs> right now. He's got to be stressing. 
Harris Smith coming back for bogey, his first on the back nine. Harris, that will be his second bogey on the back nine, and it was once a three-stroke lead is down to one, one to play. Yeah, and Clemens still oh. just one back as well. So absolutely needs a par to win, possibly needs a birdie. Mm -hmm. You if never Gan know. Yeah, yep. Gannon can get the birdie and put that extra pressure on. Shout out to Bradley Brown for getting the only two on hole 17 today. Oh, we got it. Nice. Nice eagle. 18. What a finishing hole this is, Nathan. Incredible hole to finish, especially with that one-stroke deficit for Gannon Burr. We've got the second most difficult hole on the course. 470 feet to reach this OB Creek. Then you've got to carry it again for 200 plus feet, depending on where you land at. Land in an ideal position to not have to miss too many trees and still have another 175 feet to approach this green. Just OB everywhere, have to land in the green you can see down at the bottom of this hill. Too far left, you're OB. Too far right, you're out of birdie position. Big tee shot coming up for Gannon Burr. Needs to put some pressure on Harris off the tee. Ooh, that's left. Ooh. Sneaks through there, but that is really far back. Really short. Going to be difficult if he decides to go for it. Going to be difficult to get to that second landing zone. Yeah. Hmm. Curious what he does. O'Reilly. Oh, this is a big one. Yeah. That is a fantastic shot. He's going to be in that 220-foot OB carry range. Going to be in a great spot to put himself in position for a birdie. Harris, one-stroke lead, one to play on the tee. And job number one complete. He is farther down the fairway than Gannon. Going to be able to have an opportunity to play off of Gannon's mm. next shot now. That is big match play right here, you know, coming down the stretch. That's what it turns into. Table. Smith. Uh, oh. oh, what a kick. Wow. Stop. Oh. All right. It's one way to make it stop. It did stop. Looks like he jumped off to the left side of that manhole. Barely in bounds. Yeah, I did not realize that it had gotten that close. This is Burr's. Wow. Yeah. Because he was that, that first little OB ditch. It wow, was so I didn't short. Uh-huh. No, I've walked over that bridge, but I didn't even realize. Because you don't even think about it, right? Because sh it shouldn't <laughs> come into play on your tee shot. It really shouldn't. But he looks aggressive. Yeah, it's a big pull for Burr. Oh. oh. That was going to be OB. Wasn't it? I don't know. I think Maybe. it looked pretty good. You think it had a chance? Yeah, I think okay. it looked pretty good okay. to be in position. He is fortunate to get a kick and not be OB, but not really in a great position to attack the green from there. Right. Smith, his second. That's nice. Oh, yeah. And that's going to be a great spot. That stump's kind of one of the aiming points you have. Oh, okay. For your second shot, you want to be a little bit off to the left of it, but that's going to be a fine position. And where Gannon's at, I think Alden still needs to be aggressive here. Still Gannon good. didn't go OB, so there's an opportunity for him to get up and down. Yeah. Look at this little stand-up. I was worried out of his hand, but this man knows oh, his plastic. This looks great. Lands it oh. on that peninsula, <sighs> much closer to the OB than I'm sure he was looking for. But he's getting up and down for birdie that's, from there. Yeah, that's easy birdie right there. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much going to seal the deal for Alden minus something Some crazy, silly. Yeah. Connor, monster drive. Eagle possible from this far back? I think if you're a little bit further right from where he's at, mm -hmm. it's a play. But I think he's too far left to be able to... The shot shape. Yeah, to get that shop shape right. Well... He is going for it. Oh. <laughs> Can you believe where that landed? Oh, man. Inbounds by a couple inches. And it's honestly a great spot, too. 
He's yeah. He needed some love on that one. It he's hasn't gonna been have, his day anyway. So yeah, he's gonna have an opportunity to get back to even for the round now with an easy birdie pitch up from there. Yeah, and Burr needs the up and down to put any kind of pressure on Harris. Yeah, he's got mid range in his hand here. It's coming up a little shy. He's right on the other side oh, of that tree. That is a mean landing zone right there. Yeah. Smith into the green. Only 166. I just saw Harris up ahead. Harris has like 120 feet in. Yeah, he's going to have a nice easy pitch up to secure the win, but this oh, has got no. too much turn on it. Unforced error there. Yeah. He knows that shot very well. Just got a little too over overzealous mm -hmm. and let it float off to the right on him. O'Reilly into the green with his third to finish with a birdie. Maybe he was trying to throw in the eagle. He was trying to throw in the eagle, wasn't he? There's no way he's, he goes that long on accident, by accident, excuse me. You can see Alden up back there lining up inside 115 feet, just going to do a soft little jump putt up. Perfect. What a feeling not having to work hard on the last hole, or at least the last shot to yeah, secure yeah. your victory. Did some great work on the last hole, didn't he? Absolutely. Two incredible shots. Prodigy Buds there. Taking it down to the wire. What a battle. Ooh. One last bid for a final par, but Evan Smith only going to take two pars on the round today. <laughs> he kept it exciting for us. Yeah, kept it exciting. Way to, way to bounce back on the back nine. And Burr can't make that. Can't put any pressure on Harris. Ooh. Can now even lay up and win if he wants to. But close enough, I'm sure he won't. O'Reilly. Birdie finish there for Connor. Great back nine after a, a rough front. You know? Yeah, you see a clean four down on the back nine just to get him back to even. Yeah. So definitely left some out there on the front, but strong showing and way to finish well. Evan Smith. Most likely first time on live coverage. Mm -hmm. Comes out with a bit of struggles, but cleans up some on the back. Happy to see him out here. And I'm sure he's going to pop up a couple of out here on tour. But congratulations to Alden Harris taking down his first Disc Golf Pro Tour victory. His 10th win of his PDGA professional career. What a tourney. And then there was Chris Clemens who had to hang out and see how it shook out. He had quite a long wait to be on the chase card. Got to watch for a good four or five holes. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2022 Mid-America Open MPO champion, Alden Harris. Yeah, what a great game. Great disposition for this guy. You know, you can see him on the great picture. Yeah, absolutely. Very well mannered. Keeps his emotions in check but still shows you what he's feeling after some good shots mm -hmm. what a day at harmony bends that was fun nathan yeah beautiful course beautiful setting i know these guys are going to be happy to get out of this heat we got to get an elite series out here at Harmony Bend. Yeah, it I is, think it's, so. It's worthy. It is a beautiful course. I hear they're going to be putting a little bit more work in, getting some bridges over these creek crossings. Nice, man. Really going to have it looking even better than it already does. Well, congrats to the tournament staff, all the volunteers out here making this possible, running waters all over the course. It was hot. It was muggy. They kept everybody hydrated. And what an event. And yeah, congrats. what an event. Chris Clemens, Gannon Bird tying for second. A.B. jumping back up there into the top five as well as Kyle Klein. That was fun. Nathan, thanks a ton. And uh, we will catch you guys in Pittsburgh. Should be should be a fun one, fun one up there at Nobo. It's a beast. Yeah, brand new course this year. We'll see you guys up there.